All right. Oh, okay. All right. Welcome to Grand Prix Denver. We're in round eight, and this is live, unless you're watching the recorded video. And we're about to watch a match between Collie Woods, which we're watching right now, and Martin Yuza. Awesome blackborder.com t shirt. In the booth. I just, I just like the weird things. In the booth, Rashad Miller with uh, Rob Martin and TSG. Hey, special guest. I don't know. Like now, now all I see is a bunch of dice going everywhere. Can they see us anymore? Or we just see the screen. No, oh, they just they see the can't screen. see. All right, fingers up the nose again. Yeah, yeah that's go. good. Good. I mean, my, my fingers been up the nose. Oh, for all right. A while. I was. Okay. One of the people uh, had asked if uh, Madness is playing else today. Oh, um, you know, I, I haven't, think... I haven't seen anything in his deck yet. But that doesn't mean. Like, I, I kept burdening him to see, like, you know, is there a forest anywhere in play? Because I know there's going to be something in there. <laughs> there are a couple of L's in this format. I hope so. Uh, there was one Blightsteel Colossus. Look for that one, kids. It's, it's going to be a good story for how he made that one happen. So. So do we know anything about... We saw Conley uh, now, now, earlier Now, today. I, I want to tell people, I, I was talking to these guys at the end of last round. At the end of last round, they were both like, oh, we're both 7-0. Uses like poking jabs at Connolly about how you know like he played a certain cards in his deck and he only had a couple mana sources to get him, and Connolly's just like you know go, they're going back and forth about the whole thing. And after it's all said and done, Connolly's like, all right, like, seriously, like you know some of the cards in my deck, like you know throw it back, like what's in your deck, and uh, and he's like, yeah, we might we might play, we might play, like seriously, we might play, and he's just, just, just kind of like. Uh, swamp. <laughs> <laughs> that, that sounds exactly like something you would say. <laughs> so hey, and there we go. And there's the swamp. Yeah, there you go. There. It's like you're, you're not getting any extra information. Public until, information. Yeah. And a second swamp. Oh, he played an island. And a gust skimmer. Yeah, I'm not going to be any help here because I have not seen this set much that, at all. Well, I, I've seen it for for like five rounds, so that's yes. why I know some of these names. Okay. Okay. That is a Vidalkin uh, autonomous. I'll just be the name the card guy. No, it's mostly because I have the spoiler right Yeah, now. I was going to yes, say, you, you, you guys have the cheater computer chairs. I'm yeah, just kind of like, fortunately, my eyes are pretty good, so I can try to get in here and see what's going on. Fortunately for you. Yeah, and i got to relieve Robert here, whose uh, glasses were lost in the Great War of Wisconsin. Well, yeah. <laughs> that they war's were, still were, going on. It's, it's, were, it's were, the <laughs> chaos going on in that I state. Was trying to defend, I was trying to defend the people's <laughs> rights, and they smashed them all <laughs> So again, it's 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 uh, definitely advantage user in this matchup because he is has a lot of insight in Connolly's deck, the exact number of planes, what those planes might cast. Uh, meanwhile, Connolly, we do see a steel Hellkite though in the grip. That's pretty sweet. No, no land though. Hmm. Killed it. Yeah. Tapped it. Put a minus one minus one counter on yeah. it. Yeah. Yuza passes a four now. Any chance he's uh, holding uh, a counter spell? Probably has a Latin there. So I guess he drew it last turn and just wanted to oh, yeah, activate yeah, yeah, yeah. He asked, I mean, he asked for permission. I like that. That was pretty nice of him. And I was like, oh, I missed a land drop. Do you want my Latin mirror come into play? Is that a mere battle sphere in Juice's hand? And a spread, uh, spread the Cyclus? Oh, that, is a, that is a battle sphere. Poison, poison counter for Connolly. <laughs> Make it two. Wow. Whoa. That was quick. Yes, Connolly is undefeated currently right now, and so is Juza. That is a dross. We have seen Skipper. a lot of those today. That is the uh, the the, the uh, yeah the, the yeah the dross ripper, ripper the the faux the faux shade if you will yeah a lot of those vanilla artifact guys uh, appear to be pretty good. There's your infect mirror. And they're solid creatures even if you can't use the ability. Yeah, it's, it's a hill yeah, giant. yeah. I mean, uh, a hill giant that any color can play. Uh, poor Chrome Steed. He just seems to be keep getting kicked down the ladder of quality guys. And there He's he is, so steel hellkite, and the steel sabotage for it. Not just playable in vintage kids. Pretty good here in Mirrored and Besieged Steel Deck. And we got a big vanilla. No, no, it's it's the uh, oh, the Rhino, the big the four four Rhino that becomes six six with Metalcraft. Crumb Seed's bigger brother, whose name eludes me, but I know exactly what it does. Is that a Volition Reigns in Connolly's hand? Yeah, he had that last time. Connolly has some powerful cards, Ooh. Which, which you would hope is the case when you play four colors. <laughs> and Chapin said, there's no way you should play this deck. Chapin went through the deck and said, yep, you have to play four colors. Now, again, like I wonder how much uh, the, of the user scouting there was. 
with the, uh, you know, not not running out Battlesphere. Oh, no, you only had six. You didn't have seven. My mistake. Oh, you see, another great thing is when Yuza stopped by uh, the booth today to get sleeves, he asked me what color you should get, like, half-jokingly. And I said, you got to go with pink, because it's going to look the best in coverage, and people might wonder, which I'm blowing the lid off of right now, but... You are correct. He, 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 he followed uh, my lead. I'm a fan of the pink dragon shields. Yeah. And that's that's what, about it, though. Are that, those dragon shields? They are. Those are some nice sleeves. <laughs> Advantage user again. <laughs> that's another dross ripper. Yeah. It's like the king of the dross ripper. We are just ripping the dross. Is that the third? That's also a dross ripper, right? No, 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 there's Conley that's the, uh, oh, the, uh, Connolly has one. Is there, Juza has two? I thought he has one. The other one is the, uh, the Activate Blue to give a flying guy, right? Yeah. Ooh, we'll would be very interested to know what that Revoker names. Probably, probably uh, Dross. Nah. He probably just named... He probably would have attacked with it first oh, if that was he, the case. Okay. Oh, he's naming, uh, Plague Mirror. Or, or, I mean, like, I, I have to assume as he pointed at it. And now, now Juza's got to wonder, hey, does that mean I can't use my activated ability, my mana abilities? Because if, for those who remember, Pithing Needle says you can still activate mana abilities with the name card. However, the kind of the upside of Revoker is you can like, name Black Lotus and they can't use it. So it does turn off the Mana Mirrors, which is pretty sweet. And again, our, uh, that big Rhino is pumped up. That's a 6-6. Six, six. Razor-filled Rhino. Oh, uh, there we go. It's like one of the first preview cards out of the set. We should all know that one. Seems like an easily forgotten card. Yeah, Luis, uh, in his set review, and even before, was very quick to not be a fan. Yeah. I was like, there's so much more things I'd rather be doing with six mana. But when it's the only card you can put at that slot, or if there's nothing else that fits his deck. Oh, yeah, we are. It's sealed yeah, deck today. Yeah, it's not horrible. It's just... It does happen to be a 6-6 six, six right now, and in the red zone, so... Or out of it. Or the gray zone, you know... <laughs> Right now it's great. Wizards, yeah. they, they've gotten rid. They've gone from the red zone. I don't know why. I, I miss know. the red zone. Like I, you can't come up with a better name. Like you can't call it the Fog of War because we see everything that's going on. Like, oh, all right. Yuza says, "Blow me out with steel sabotage or grasp." Or, or, or I, I think Conley's fine with Conley. Yeah, it's like yeah. Wait, what just happened there? Does it trample? Oh no, 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 it's not a question whether or not it tramples. I mean, why did he double block if it's not going to die? Oh, because he grasped the other guy. Okay. Okay. That makes sense. So, so it was a four for two. Sometimes you got to get rid of big rhinos. And uh, Yuza has made it pretty apparent he wants that mana as well, because he went after the Revoker. He's one away from the battle sphere. Uh, meanwhile, the black creature that Conley played is the 4-2... Whenever it's dealt damage, you get to put a 2 2 into play, isn't that right? Yeah. Yeah, it's some type of pound. Yeah. I thought it was like a zombie or. Yeah, no, the, 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 the black, the 2 2's a zombie. Oh, okay. Oh, zombie. so he's a hound guy. Yeah. Oh, it's a ghoul. Yeah, it's a zombie warrior. That was close. I would believe, I, I believe like, you. See, look at that. Spot it's on. Is a nested ghoul. And there must be another definition of the word nested because he doesn't look very. He's not chilling. <laughs> <laughs> he, he's, he's not tidying up the house. He's not. No. <laughs> he, he's not. He's not taking twigs and spit and making making yeah. a home. So uh, yeah, dictionary.com. That one. Yeah. Find out what's going on for us with that nested part. Urban dictionary. <laughs> yeah. Ah, contagion class. Oh. And we're proliferating to make sure that we don't get any zombie tokens out of it. A very smart way to get rid of that uh, potentially two for one type card. Now, Conley rips a. Seemingly worthless swamp to go with what I can't tell is the last card in his hand. Yeah, he's got his thumb right over the the artwork. Was that a sphere? That could be a sphere of the suns. Nope, it's definitely not a sphere of the suns. Well, we're not gonna find. Oh, uh, so he's, he's just pumping yeah, it. All right, here we go. It. Must not be better oh, than no, two. No, it happens to be an island, oh, and oh, uh, there's a battle sphere. Let me just go deep into the tank and find me a mirror. Oh, not for mirror token. No. Is it a spine of Ishaw? Is that what that is? Looks it like is a spine it of Ishaw. I was actually I was one of the cards that could have been. Okay, well, things are fairly even right now. 
Uh, I mean, Zusa can pretty much get in with impunity with his Plague Mirror and then start proliferating Connolly as kind of a, a, well, not exactly a B plan since Connolly does have some poison counters yeah, already. Connolly's got four. So. Meanwhile, if Connolly opts to take out the Plague Mirror, then his his shady hill giant guy whose name I can't remember is in trouble pretty quick too because he gets proliferated out. So that 1-1 that one, one Plague Mirror, which seems kind of innocuous, is pretty good right here. Ra a Frixian Rager. Rager cycles into a swamp. Yeah, it's a little off the screen. And sure enough, he, he, he realizes... He went the wrong way. He's making room for his attack step. Yeah, he's... he's uh... He did block? Yes, yeah. Co now, so Connolly has pretty much chose to let his threat die in order to not be even more in danger of dying from a uh, contagion class, which is still a pretty big deal. Again, playing blue-black, it's not going to be something you can stop from happening. I mean, bouncing it isn't going to do anything. So uh, that contagion class was a real threat here. Yeah, and he gave himself an extra turn by blocking the other player. Man. I don't you, know how relevant his life is. He's at 16 and there's just a bunch of one runs. I guess now there's a Frickson Ranger. Uh, he's not, not, even gonna, gonna, not even going to pump it to make him do it again next turn. He's just going to be like, you know what, this, this battle is pretty futile. Meanwhile, we're going for the double dip. We've got uh, some damage coming through and some infect going on. Connolly draws... And, and again, uh, the, not, very, not very impressive. Not yeah. exactly the card he needed now. But and he does have a third color now. And it's always fun to see somebody, uh, you know, with like 10 life points and 5 poison counters. You're working hard for the money at that point. I saw Brad Nelson earlier in the day attacking with a Scytherex and a Tangle Hulk at the same time. So you're going to get it done. Connolly's not exactly in survival mode yet, but he's, well, he's got a Drake, Dark Slick Drake. That's a good one to draw. Yeah, Luis's favorite Skyo school would be a little bit better right now to get the other land out of his hand, but... Proliferates him again to seven. Connolly only has three turns. Nope, surveying the graveyard. Now is it, uh, I haven't seen use his hand. Is it postulating or is he actually, oh well, it's, it's no rise from the grave, that's for sure. But I was wondering if he has a, a raised dead effect. Oh, blocked with his red mana source, so if he draws a shatter, he can't even use it to get rid of the, uh, the Contagion class. Yeah, that is a bit surprising. I didn't actually know that was in his deck. Yeah, it is. Yeah, he has a shatter. The splash for red. I think the mirror is his only red mana source. Ooh. I haven't seen any. Didn't yeah, see I haven't miles. seen he, running he might mountain? have one mile. I don't remember seeing it. Ooh, that's uh, Is that. that? Yeah, that's why he's counting the graveyards. Wow. So again, Man. now Connolly's going to double check his math. Make sure that he counted the same in, in the United States. There we go. Okay. <laughs> same number. It's only it's just a 13 13 so That's it's not, not much you know it's kind of a it's kind of a good thing for Connolly. this way he's gonna be able to draw a card after drake pretty pretty for sure um he knows what to do you know he knows to block this creature yeah. it makes magic easier well, yeah corrupted conscious would be real good right now corrupted conscious would be okay i don't, I don't think Connolly wants to give yuza more life i think i think yuza would actually be in better shape putting corrupted conscience on one of his own creatures yep yep to. So he's gonna go swamp. So he's got plain swamp, which uh, is not gonna do. Not it. the most exciting card combination. And islands. Uh, that will do it. So it looked like a an, kind of an awkward smattering of guys, but it was really uh, that contagion class that did a lot of the work there. Kind of an early innocuous poison counter off of a virulent wound. Like uh, again, like think about it. It was virulent wound into spread uh, spread the sickness into a lot of activations of uh, Contagion class. And that's, I mean, it's, it's that, cool to win that way. Yeah, like, you didn't really point, get him. And at that point, he had the mana to just keep doing it and still cast his normal spells, which is really, really nice. Oh. I'd like to thank strikezone.com. 
for helping out sponsoring the podcast or the, the video cast. We, uh, if you go there today and buy thirty dollars more product, you get free shipping in domestic, and you could save ten percent with the coupon GG's Live. Dot GG's Live. It's where to go. So let's see if we can see any kind of significant sideboarding on any of these players. Connolly has access to so much of his pool since uh, there was a there was a <laughs> there was a mountain. I did see a mountain. Yeah. Yeah. Your mountain. All right. So there, well, there, no, there's one in his main. There's see, one. That, there's that, one in his main deck. That's one of the many benefits from playing <laughs> almost all the colors. You can go to your sideboard and you can use almost all of them. Yeah. For those that remember our interview with Brian, we talked about that Fangren Marauder, and it's only one green. So again, if it was Con even Connolly's pool. Well, it would be a stretch since it's the only color he's not playing. Uh, I'm pretty sure he could make it happen. Uh, again. He said he had access to all the man mirrors. Okay. So he could technically, if he had it, splash it in. Now, yeah, I definitely completely whiffed on how to use a sideboard. Sideboarded. Connolly's, Connolly's got, see, I like how he's got every single card uh, sleeve. He's got some forest sleeve. He's got all that stuff ready to go. So, again, he's, he's able to audible into deck two or three, whatever that might be. Yeah, it, it was interesting because like even Chapin said, I was like, well, you have no choice. Congratulations, you're playing four colors. I, I mean, in his in his defense, I mean, like, you know, Chapin makes a very clear point, which it's hard to argue with. Uh, you know, come on, one, two, three colors tops without, you know, this isn't Shards of Alara block. But, um, well, the mana fixing in Shards of Alara sure helped. Well, it's, yeah, again, it's a different format. But, you know, Luis, um, we did an interview recently where we talked about in this format you can you could pretty much always play your bombs um you know with like he, he used hordes and other dragons a great example like you can and it was actually draft at the time but it's, it kind of applies to sealed as well where it's like you can have a great blue white pool or a great blue white draft you go into pack three or you look at the rest of your cards and notice you have a card like hordes and dragon artifacts are still going a long way into not making you too color dependent i mean if you think about the majority of the cards that were cast in this last game we watched there's a lot of colorless cards. Um, oh, is that Hero of Blade Hold on uh, Yuza's side? I believe so. And just trying to see if he's switching around anything uh, of note. It also makes me wonder if uh, Connolly would choose to draw in this circumstance. Do we know if Pat who's drawing? No, we're still we're still shuffling up. We don't know yet. Man, Yuza just whips the whips the cards around in those sleeves. Cedric Ritter gra gra grabs some water. I think he got. It's like you got somebody else on here talking so much that. Uh, uh, what did I say? Cedric. Cedric? Oh my God, I'm terrible. <laughs> yes, he did. I did call you Cedric. I was talking to him earlier. I had, I had this delicious the 60. <laughs> oh my god. The best part was, I was reading on the screen, where did you go? It's Cedric's <laughs> dead. It's Cedric's dead. Oh, nice. Oh, I. Oh my god. Well, I have no coming back from that, do I? Not really. Only, <laughs> only time can heal that wound. <laughs> well, I don't know if I'll ever be coming back, but uh, assuming we ever end up in the same city, I'd like to shut. Yeah, I'm just uh, trying to figure out how your guys' feed works. See who's uh, talking, because we have... I think Connolly left all the red cards in his deck. I saw him move the Manamir around. Now, one thing you did miss was uh, he has all of his cyborg cards uh, sleeved, including some forests. I think he also had a, a different build of his deck. He had, like, a green, a three-color deck. Is that a forest? I think we see it. Yeah, we got a forest. So we're, we're, we're already to uh, version B. I don't know. Not good enough with that one. Meanwhile, is that a Tezzeret? No. It is. Sure looks like it. <laughs> <laughs> that's, just, that's just mean. Nice blue black Contagion, deck, yeah. Contagion <laughs> class, Tezzeret. So again, right away. again, covering all your bases. If you can't proliferate you out with the Contagion class, he'll just get in for five. 
And I'm starting to kind of feel bad for Connolly. I mean, like, obviously this match is nowhere near over, but... I mean, that, that just uh, that opens up a lot more avenues to uh, closing the game out for, for Yuza. Near Battlesphere, Tezzeret? That's not a limited format. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. I mean, he's gotten some great cards there. Not that his play doesn't describe why he's XO, but... I mean, I mean to be fair, Martin Yuza could, probably could have told Connolly a lot of the cards in his deck and not given him, you know, the information that Connolly needed. He was like, yeah, you know, I got a couple of um, barely wounds. <laughs> and, like, something else, some, some draws for All right, so, so Connolly did choose to draw, which I think was going to be pretty key. That's what, it makes me a lot more confident in his mulligan to six. Pellets, oh, man. And again, neither of these decks were fast in game one. Um, you know, a card like Perilous Mirror is obviously going to slow the game down, so you're looking to play longer games. I definitely think... And again, with Connolly's mana base, he really does want to draw, get that extra card. Yeah, he definitely needs that extra card. So there's an up update on the outer ring that uh, Paul Chian and Patrick Chapin are at a game apiece. Oh, there it is. Oh, wow, that was fast. Yep, just run it out there. Yeah, it's like... What uh, do you think of this, Mr. Woods? Well, I can hit you for five now, and that little perilous mirror all of a sudden becomes a quick clock. I could uh, impulse my deck. I think... Oh, he's got an impulse. I actually like the... Yes. You know, make a 5-5 five five and just go for it. Because how, how easy is it to deal oh. with a 5-5? Five five? Mirror Battle Spear. Oh, he's just going to draw Mirror Battle Spear. Uh, oh, I, I man. Well. Uh, I think the nice thing about plussing Tezzeret at this point in the game is that, let's say Connolly does have a removal spell. Now, that Perilous Mirror is going to be great for Connolly's threats. Now, if Connolly had a Virulent Wound, if he had a Grasp of even a Grasp of Darkness at that point, you minused on Tezzeret and you got rid of the threat on board that's also potentially going to take out one of your guys. And I think uh, definitely by user playing it safe there, it's all upside. It's a lot more inherent advantage. Ooh, we got a Skitherix. This might be a game. Connolly does have Skitherix in hand. Yes, but he has to get to. It's okay. He's got uh, the. That, he's, he's got, got a giant Ledmere. mantis in his hand. He also has Leaden Mirror. So this. So next turn he can go. He can go land into a hasty uh, Skitherix. So does. Use it, go minus one to make a big mirror. Because again, like now it's a lot easier to take that risk because you're still get a two for one out of it. If, if Connolly goes to kill it, then you get his lead mirror yeah. as well. Um, and your and your Tezzeret's still at three counters. Not that that's a huge deal. Uh, uh, plus oneing again, you know, just going for that card advantage could be a big deal real soon. I mean, Use it probably doesn't even realize that that's the safe play. That's probably the way to go because he might get. Yep. I, I think Use it wants to find some mana sources. <laughs> Maybe find another um, another mana mirror, just to make sure he gets to seven as soon as possible. And there's an acid There it is. <laughs> exactly, which, pretty much that's, what you're looking for. That's kind of the one you want if you're looking for mana. It's like either that or Sphere of the Suns would be like the cards I really want to draw. Um, someone asked if you were going to be at Star City Games LA. Uh, I actually have no idea if I made Star City Games LA. I know uh, usually they send me to a lot of PTQs. If I don't, but it's like usually I end up in LA for PTQs. If I don't have anything that weekend, I'd like to go down there. Um, I'm trying to remember what weekend it is. It might be like the last weekend of March. If that's the case, that's my fiance's um, birthday weekend, so it's gonna be a little rough. But it, yeah. that'll be a fun trip for you too. Oh yeah, LA. It's it's great. It's right happy, by the airport. Happy birthday, babe! Going to the Star City yeah. Games <laughs> LA event. So if those two things are not the case, I'll, I will. Uh, I'll. Yes, he actually, has I'll probably enough. end up driving. Oh, he's just gonna kill him. He has enough for the battle spare. Oh wow. So One, that's two, five. that is five, six, seven, eight, <laughs> he and took, sixteen. Yeah, that is a board. Whoa, <laughs> that, okay. that has to be nice one of the. Deck. That has to Martin be one Yuza. of the best boards I've seen. Deja Glass, <laughs> Battle Spear. I mean, come on, really? Congratulations, to Martin Yuza, who just sixteen. Conley Woods with a Tezzeret. I, I have to know now, dead or alive, Cedric. Everyone wants to know. Are, are you dead? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm, uh, I just got my second loss. Second loss, he's still in, ladies and gentlemen. Slowly redeeming myself. Well. Oh, there was a Glissa in his deck. Oh, by the way, you've been called Dreamy. Oh. Go back. 
For this camera, I look like I have a giant forehead. I don't know. Well, that's, I mean, don't point your forehead at the camera. Just, oh, okay. There's the camera. No, so as you, as you can, as you you can gotta, tell. You have to know your angles. You need to watch some more America's Next Top Model. You got to know your oh, angles. My, I've, I've watched so many seasons of that show. And you got to smile with your eyes. I don't know if I did it or not. Did I do it? You're bringing back like just so many memories. I mean, it's actually a pretty fun show. Show me show Fierce. Show me Fierce. <laughs> that was, you killed it. Yeah, it was like half a second. America's next See, male model. That's gosh. it. Gosh, I thought you were gonna be a contender. I mean, I, I can be, but you know, I don't want. I don't. I don't. I don't just like to throw out all it's my a, skills. It's a, it's a little bit. It's been. It's, a, it's been a, a, little, a long day. Like you know, I'm a little tired. I'm a little tired. It's good that we got some fresh legs in the booth. You uh. <sighs> I mean, for me, this is like a huge breath of fresh air. I've been literally sitting in front of binders all day, like 25, 10. I'm going to pass on that one. 25, that one. Uh, sort of feast and famine for everyone who's looking to play more standard right now. That card can't be any hotter. Like, I, I picked it to not go anywhere. It's like it's a one of, right? It's a sword. I think right. a sword of something and something else is always going to be good. Huh? What about the Game Academy? How awesome they are? Yeah, they're, they're, they're pretty awesome. Go, go there, they might have great prices still. That car keeps going up through the roof. Um, I, but you know what they do have? They have one of the hottest cards in Magic available, Stone Forge Mystic. Yeah, like, that's a hard one to find. Kind of goes right with, with the, uh, the sword thing. Yeah. And that one you need four of. <laughs> so, so being the market guy, if you can find that card south of $25, if Game Academy, even if they have them at 25, GameAcademy.com, yeah. right? Online.com. Um, Game Academy if, online. If you just go to GameAcademy.com, you get some other site. That's I'll okay. I learned, I learned the hard way. That no, this, is this don't Google this segment? No, 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 no. Okay. Okay. It's some other gaming okay. site. Okay. Okay. I don't know. What I, I, I had a friend who kept going to ChanelFireball.com. <laughs> <laughs> is that actually a site? Not yet. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> but like after a few times of him telling me, he's like, man, I, I misspelled it again. I was like, you I was should like, at least get it in like redirect or something. <laughs> I was thinking, I was like, I should contact some other people and get some fragrances ideas going. <laughs> like, we've already joked, like you know, like now when you go to a Grand Prix, like kind of like. And, and this fragrance is White Sun Zenith. <laughs> What would a white sun zenith smell like? I just want to know how you smells model like it. Winning. Just show me, show me like modeling it. the fragrance with fierce. That's what I want to see. <laughs> yeah. So uh, maybe if we need some cameras going off in the press, that'll get me in the mood. The side, you know? yeah. right over here. Side. So we need flash bulb. So it used to be like you go to a grand prix, you get like a playmat, and now it's like you get a deck box. And I was like, well, 